Hello guys, welcome to the Innovation Lab. In this video, we're just going to be doing a quick assembly and test on this 48 volts, 1000 watts heater that I intend to use in my next video as a DC load. So in the past, I've always used uh, incandescent light bulbs like this uh, assembly here. But the problem is that um, to get to a thousand watts, you're going to need a lot of these bulbs and they get expensive. Uh, each of these bulbs are rated for 12 volts at 20 watts. So this here is just uh, 360 watts. We have about 18 light bulbs here. So that will not be cost effective. Plus, when I use them in the videos, as you guys can see in my uh, previous videos, they tend to glow a lot. And that kind of interferes with the camera and uh, kind of messes up the video. So I just wanted to see if I can... Uh, come up with a different kind of a low voltage load to see if that will work. I tried using these 12 volt uh, car heaters, but on Amazon, they say these guys were rated for 600 watts. But when I put them together, they only delivered about 250 watts. That was kind of disappointing. All right. I know that some of the technical people in our audience will see this video and they will say, why don't you just use an electronic load instead? So we are doing this because we are simply looking for a very affordable alternative. So if you look on Amazon, this is a 1000 watt heater that is rated for 48 volts, exactly what we needed and for only $30. On the other hand, if you were to use an actual professionally made electronic load that is reliable, um, you're looking at spending close to uh, $2,500 or $3,000 to find something reliable that can accommodate up to a thousand watts of load. And personally for me, I prefer to use visible loads, loads that I can actually interact with and see what they're doing in real time. Loads that are more exciting. So electronic loads, I find them a little bit boring. All right, so let's go ahead and put this together. And uh, this is going to be a quick video and uh, we will see if this is going to work. All right, my friends, let's get started.
right guys here goes nothing everything is connected let's see if this thing gives us a thousand watts oh wow yeah it's actually uh doing it as you can see here we get up to almost 900 watts so it seems like it's working all right let's go ahead and uh, put it in some water see how fast it's gonna heat up the water Alright my friends, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. And as you have seen in the video, um, I would say that this is an amazing product. We were able to dissipate about 900 watts using this uh, heater as a load. And what I would say is that the we were not able to get to 1000 watts because of the voltage drop. And that again also can be explained because the battery system that we are using is not designed to handle that much current draw through it. All right, my friends, if you'd like to see how we're going to be using this test load in our next video, don't forget to subscribe to the Innovation Lab. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.